Hey, what's going on, man? Time for another quick video. Um, today I'm gonna be replacing a door in my van for my cargo van. Let me show you which one. That's the one I'm gonna be putting. This is the one I'm gonna be replacing. It's all jacked up. It's actually missing quite a lot from the bottom of that door. Uh, this has been happening in the last few years. So I went and got this one, which is a lot better. Picked it up for 100 bucks. And uh, still with the van stitch now. Put it all back together. You know, spruce it up, clean it up. Do some camping. Do a little traveling. So, there's two ways of doing this. You can either remove the hinge from here, which I think that's what I'm going to do, or you can remove the hinge from here. If you remove from here, this just slides out. You slide the new door in. Actually, that's, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to take these off because I just lift the door, slide it in, and that's it. That's one here. And two right there. So I'm going to remove these instead of those. Right, let's see what happens. All right, so what I ended up doing was those were kind of, they came off, but they were kind of hard and it was squeaking a lot. So, especially the one on the bottom. So I decided not to go that route. So I just took these off because I need the top hinge for my new, for my new van. Um, and that's it. Uh, so, Kind of windy out today, so I'm trying to hold it. So I got it. The door is checked up. Got it up on that block, so it holds it in place. You don't have a jack in the block, so it's gonna have to hold the door for you. But that's it. So let me just uh, tighten this down. I line up the door, and that should be it. All right. So it took me about 15 minutes to get these things lined up because all doors are different. Uh, she had a Heat these two, loosen this, adjust this out a little bit so the door actually locked lock up. Um, apparently, this door already has been repaired, but it's okay. Paid a hundred bucks for it. I'll put this up for sale. The glass for like 40 50 bucks because uh, my glass is there and it's tinted. Now, all I gotta do is remove that panel. It's a little sticky and install that panel here. Uh, I'll do that now, or I'll probably do that later because I have to install the one in the back. Uh, that's it. It's pretty easy. The hardest part was trying to get the door aligned so it shuts properly. Um, so that's good. Now I just gotta order these rockers. This thing is jacked up. Look at that. Look at that. I just order the rockers and I order these corners. New England for you. It's pretty solid up here. Up here it's solid. Soft there. Um let's see if I can get a shot here. Yeah, so, so it's uh it's all jacked up. Let's get through all these. Gotta get these new quarters, I mean rockers. Look at the front. The front not even there anymore. So all the rust is coming off. How soft it is. Well, those are coming. I go to both sides. Goes from the door all the way to about here. And then here you have to gotta add the corner piece. The rockers is right here. You can see it right here. That's for you. Drill them out here. It's got this weld here, weld here. You drill those holes out, you pry it out. It comes out all the way here from this corner to the front of the door. And then you gotta get that back corner, the pocket there. But that's something I'm gonna do both sides. I I'm not I'm personally got not gonna do it. Um Got one of my dad's friends, old, old, and OG is gonna do it for me. I don't have the patience, time, 
or a welder, but he'll take care of me for cheap. Um, hopefully that'll, that fix can last me a few years, you know what I mean? So I can enjoy the van for a couple more years or three more years, whatever time has got left. Cause it does have five miles, it's got about 350,000. But uh, even with that, you know, I drove it all over New England. Um, took it down the border, Canada, come back. Um, I've done a lot of a lot of maintenance to it. Sorry, this is windy out here. I've done a lot of maintenance to it. Everything, tranny's been serviced, um, tranny, rear end, you no know, oil changes. It's got a new alternator, you know, spark plugs. Runs very nice. I right, should let me start off for you guys and you guys can get a get a get a feel for this. It's got two new manifolds on both sides. Um let me see what else have I done to this van. Put this up here. Yeah, I got the two new manifolds. Um two new manifolds. Enough. Alternator, belts, pulleys, done all myself, spark plugs, um, radius arms, front end, the tires, um, the rim was done, uh, one axle was done in the back, the seals, the bearings, everything. Because I did it, I used this for work, I did the auto parts disc, I used this for the auto parts for a little bit, and I was able to get all those good discounts on those G, on those um, factory four parts. and. Bought them all, installed it. Runs really good. Um, you know, I actually trust this more than I do with my other one, uh, my 2012. But getting it ready. Now it's gotta get it cleaned up. Uh, put the stuff in it. Cut the vent right here, so I can put the little <laughs> the roof vent. I never did that. Never got around to that. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this video short right here. Talk to you guys later. Peace, any questions, comments, put below, subscribe. Watch some more videos and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.